If you're talking water skiing. The hardest of the world. Or other barefooters. This bunch of barefooters is the hardest core in New Zealand. They're the national barefoot team, and they're here at Oraki Karako on the Waikato River for their final training camp before going to the World Champs. New Zealand has a good record in world barefooting, at one stage holding third rank behind the Australians and Americans before the last Worlds when they slipped to sixth. This year, with some youngsters coming through into the team, they rate their chances of regaining third spot as the best they'll ever be. Definitely, the New Zealand team this time is, is very, very favourably positioned. And um, there are some people, the, the quality of New Zealand skiing is a lot higher than it, than it has been, I believe, in any barefoot team that, that I've competed in. And, and uh, I'm the old dog here, probably done, first Worlds was in 1982, so, so 12 years of World Championships. The team comes from all over the country, and the camp gives the skiers a chance to swap ideas, fine-tune their techniques, and compare their progress as they compete against each other in the three disciplines, slalom, tricks, and jumps. It's in the jump that the Kiwis look especially strong. The world jump record is just over 26 metres, and the Kiwis specialist jumper Gary Oakes is consistently getting within a metre of that mark. Pioneering the inverted jump technique in New Zealand has been a steep and sometimes painful learning curve for Gary. So I just um, ended up trialling and erroring all of these uh, different um, methods and fell and hurt myself and uh, basically um, uh, ended up with a, a hell of a lot of bruises and um, but I was determined to, to um, master the, uh, the art and um, finally I have. <laughs> Can you sort of go into any detail on, on the impact it's had on your body doing this sort of thing? Um, oh, I guess at times it's a little bit harder to get out of bed. <laughs> um, but I've had torn ligaments in my knees and... Uh, uh, but, I mean, that aside, I guess if I had the right teacher, um, it would have been a hell of a lot easier on me. Um, I guess the determination overrode all those uh, physical problems. Gary's experience is paying off for the rest of the team. With Gary's advice, the younger jumpers are even starting to push him along. The mainstay of the team is veteran barefooter Shelley May. Shelley's been going to the Worlds for nearly a decade. This will be Shelley's last appearance at the world, but she's happy with the talent that's coming through to replace her. There's no real rivalry. It's really good to see Natasha coming through. I wish she'd progressed faster so I could retire earlier. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's doing really well right now and just skiing amazingly. She's 17 and uh, she's got a big future ahead of her. Stay with us, sports junkies. Coming up.